Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we will discuss how much DSA is needed for 10 to 20 LPA jobs. Now a lot of students might be confused that this is not a small bracket that I am giving. This bracket is not a small bracket, it is actually a huge chunk. But I will give you realistic steps, realistic topics, how to cover them and I will answer your most frequently asked questions because I have got a lot of queries for the same. So today, in today's video, I will solve it out and this would be your last video for this topic that you will watch because here I will try my level best that not to provide you any boasting or hype rather than that I will straight away stick to the reality that is relevant, fine. Now before I proceed, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram on the handle Shuklaji Speaks because at this handle you can directly connect to me, directly you can ping me your queries and I will answer you there. Fine. Now, <coughs> let's straight away dive in deep and let's understand what exactly do you need to study. So, topics that build foundation are these and if you want, take a register, take a pen, start jotting it down. Arrays and hashing, you have to cover in this order only. Fine. Then stacks, then link list. Then for trees and recursion, I generally preferred doing trees first and then moving to the recursion because they are intertwined concepts but you can change this order according to your convenience rest should be the same start from arrays alongside that study hashing as well as hash maps find structures like hash maps then go ahead do stacks do link list trees recursion everything followed in this order and once you start learning these first thing you should be very very careful about is concept learning fine First of all, you should learn about the concept, the core concept of any array or any stack or link list, anything. Whatever you are studying, learn the fundamental core concept. Then, second thing is solve easy questions. Do not straight away dive into hard questions. Fine. Third, reiterate to solve tough questions fine now what does this mean i'll explain you what i'm saying when you're solving arrays and hashing problems for example you studied arrays you're solving arrays problems do not straight away dive in into the medium or hard level problems don't do that mistake what you should do is learn the concept solve the easy question move to the next concept for example arrays and hashing solve all the easy questions fine i'll tell you how to solve it don't worry but most of the easy questions and one medium question you can pick max not more than that then move to another topic which is like stacks you move here then link list then trees then recursion you've completed this once you've completed this then reiterate start from arrays again start solving medium questions fine start solving tough questions but not immediately i would suggest you first solve medium questions in the second iteration and this bunch is done for you once this bunch is done go ahead these are the advanced topics graphs strings two pointers and dynamic programming in this 1d as well as 2d both dynamic programmings you should go ahead and do but when you're practicing this again the same order easy problem then medium problems then hard problems fine but in this easy medium hard procedure you do easy problems again first of all you do easy problems for all of them then you go to the medium again you do all the problems medium problems for all these topics then hard problems in the similar manner that I told you earlier then this bunch would be complete for you once this bunch is complete two things that you should focus more upon is one is binary search fine when you find time after this solve questions for binary search and for sliding window protocol however let me tell you why am i writing them and not i have mentioned them in ppt in printed format the reason is for 10 to 20 lpa you can skip sliding window protocol number one usually it is not asked one in a million case where somebody can ask and if that's one in a million case we can't cater to exceptions as simple as that but 
binary search this is often asked so what i would suggest is you go through binary search once you're done with this bunch as well then what you should do is you did easy medium problems here fine so it is easy problems then medium problems fine and then bunch complete fine then bunch is complete i'm not telling you to do hard questions initially then move to next bunch write this out this will help you move to next bunch what is next bunch this is the bunch 2 fine this is bunch 1 so bunch 1 is done here move to next bunch bunch 2 should be done in similar manner same manner easy and medium problems once this is done I told you in bunch 2 binary search also is included in bunch 2 only do not include this this is a side topic you can write it out for your reference if you want to but these are super important now once you are through with them easy medium problems only not hard problems fine so I would write it like this bunch 2 complete fine once bunch 2 is complete what you need to do is hard problems of bunch 1 fine hard problems of bunch 1 so here hard problems bunch 1 once they are done then revise i'll come to this more i'll come to this but in this order you have to go easy medium problems for bunch 1 move to next bunch complete that bunch with basic concepts learning solve easy questions then medium questions bunch 2 complete then hard problems bunch 1 hard problems out of them and then revise all the easy medium problems concepts and then you can go to hard problems bunch 2 fine so this is the basic thing that you should follow for 10 to 20 lpa but now it's time for some million dollar questions fine which are how many questions to do kitne questions practice kare should i make notes or not how to revise all these questions are a big dilemma so i'll solve these for you the number for how many questions to do what questions to do is very very easy the number is 150 and all of you know the answer where this 150 is coming from fine if you are our regular watcher or if you're a regular viewer on this channel then you will be knowing that what i'm exactly talking about so all you need to search is go on google search top 150 not out prep insta fine you'll find the link in description box to this list you simply click here and you will find the topics written here see arrays and hashing fine you'll have two pointers you'll have sliding window you'll have stack so get yourself accustomed with this list and it has 150 questions now in this 150 questions list if you see these are easy questions for example valid anagram is a very easy question and in this question if you see you have two methods one sorting method other one is hash table method also you will have the codes in your favorite languages in some questions you will also have hints which are medium or hard level problems you will have hints you will have multiple ways of solving them fine so these are the 150 questions out of them sabse pehle what you have to do is take the easy questions so in every list the initial three four questions are easy and medium questions so for every list what you should do is if you're doing array pick the top four questions done go ahead when you're doing stacks pick the top three questions done then link list pick the top four questions again done in trees pick the top five questions done then you go ahead you come to graphs here also top four five questions done now this is something backtracking that you should try solving somewhere fine in when you were searching uh, trying to learn about binary search there you can learn about by backtracking as well fine so iske questions be in the later run but first the primary bunch you have to cover now 
सो इनिशियल फोर फाइव क्वेश्चन थ्री फोर क्वेश्चन ऑफ एवरी टॉपिक आर इजी एंड वन माइट बी अ मीडियम क्वेश्चन सो दैट इज गुड फॉर यू टू डू सो इन द फर्स्ट आइट्रेशन जस्ट कीप ऑन डूइंग फोर फोर थ्री थ्री फोर फोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एवरी टॉपिक सो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर इज फाइन कंप्लीट थ्री क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट फोर क्वेश्चन देन फ्रॉम स्टैक्स डू इट देन फ्रॉम लिंक लिस्ट डू इट फ्रॉम ट्रीज फ्रॉम मैथ एंड जोमेट्री बैक ट्रैकिंग ग्राफ्स प्रायोरिटी क्यूज हीप्स फाइन and then comes advanced graphs and then 1d dynamic and 2d dynamic programming then you have greedy problems you have intervals you have bit manipulations now i am telling you things for 10 to 20 lpa so a lot of things i have not written here but if somebody wants to exceed himself from 10 to 20 lpa do the 150 problems if you know these 150 problems at the back of your hand any company in this world you can clear very recently a student and she wrote us an email i can show that email fine she wrote us an email that in her tcs interview for the prime profile she got the interview call she got two exact questions from this top 150 not out list to that extent this is helpful product based companies netflix google uber amazon i have personally known people who have done these 150 questions and went there i myself did these 150 questions worked in a product based company i have n number of examples for this so this is tried and tested list for this result fine and that is why i am telling you here you can also write back tracking fine that would help you out so i am writing this back tracking here itself here i should write it back tracking fine so you can do this back tracking as well and in graphs first the basic graphs then advanced graphs as simple as that fine once you've done this then you know that 150 not out list so this top 150 not out prep insta that you have to search and once you search this your job is done believe me agar ye list kar li there is no company which you cannot crack no company you can crack every company in this world fine strangely you will find that even best of the companies are asking medium problems of this list not very hard problems very rarely they'll go for hard problem now should you make notes yes you should the questions that you feel were tough write those things down write for example if you are learning hash map for the first time write what is hash map write the question that you did write its solution write the approach and i would severely suggest for every question whether it is easy or hard at least write the approach in your notes fine make notes question wise and write the approach for the question give the heading of the question write the approach of the question so this will help you to actually solve this problem how to revise once you make good notes you can revise straight away look at the approach code it out fine once you do this multiple times in the multiple iterations then you will know things at the back of your hand fine you will have super proficiency and that is what is needed for 10 to 20 lpa package let me tell you if you go ahead if i am not wrong the questions that i just told you and the list that i showed you if you do the topics only told in this ppt this number 150 would actually reduce down somewhere to this 150 would actually reduce down somewhere to 80 to 90 problems only fine but i would suggest you go ahead at least solve 130 135 problems out of this 150 list and that will actually prove you that in interviews where you are going either these 150 questions are the source of the questions that you are solving there or you'll have two questions from this list mixed into a single question and that would be asked from you and if you solve that no matter what they are going to select you fine as simple as that so i have answered these questions pretty much as well i hope this helps you out now if you know anybody who knows that this particular type of dsa should be done but isn't finding the right resources go ahead give them resources if they don't have a plan go ahead give them this plan video share karo nahi karo important is that you do share the knowledge that you have fine that is super important to do go ahead if you want that i should deliver more such things to you subscribe to this channel and comment below this video if you want this ppt fine 
for that you have to join my community for that you will find the link in description and also in the comment section when you comment ppt you will have that link to my uh, particular telegram community there i'll post the ppt but alongside that i'll tell you one thing go ahead comment below this video because top 3 comments might stand a chance to win prep and star prime subscription for free now a lot of students might be in a dilemma that i am commenting but i am not getting you are not giving any giveaway in any of the uh, videos or lives so i have to inform you that in the next upcoming lives and videos we'll be announcing multiple winners of these particular competitions because regularly we were making this huge chunk of pipeline so that we can put people into that and randomly choose randomly get some three winners and multiple three winners for different different videos will come up so a lot of students would be benefited you have chance right now once we start bringing out the winners we'll stop this for a while so go ahead comment below this video and follow me on social media handle that is instagram handle there i can help you out and moreover go us go and follow us on various social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update fine keep doing good for others without any expectations good will come back to you thank you have a wonderful day ahead